okay so this is uh, um, this is basically uh, the model of a computational unit in uh, in the brain at least the the neurologist thinks so that the the brain uh, the brain comp uh, comprises of these kind of units and these units are called neurons uh, what 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 they think uh, what they think is that and, and and also they have a lot of experimentations uh, regarding this is that there is there is some unit inside there is some unit a lot of a lot of uh, inputs are coming to that unit this way um, so so these are the these might be the these uh, these kind of uh, uh, edges they might be thought of as some inputs that are coming in then um, all these inputs they are combined inside uh, this this unit and something happened some processing has happened uh, based on these uh, inputs and and then and over, on that combination there is an activation that 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 works and whether the neuron fires or outputs uh, something or output another thing maybe so 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 this is called the whether the neuron fires or not fires means one kind of output and does not fire means another kind of output and then this uh, output is uh, transmitted to to the other neurons i mean so so for example this this uh, uh, this edge that is coming in may be an output of some neuron sitting here um, this uh, input that is coming in may be uh, input of some neuron that is sitting here uh, so similarly the, this neuron this neuron has given an output uh, these neurons are giving uh, given are giving outputs to several other neurons uh, so th so this is kind of the biological neuron model that the neurologist and the people from biology they came up with that the neuron or a one computational and they think that this is the computational unit and all the computation happens inside the neuron and the several neurons they are they are they are in combination together to make a huge neural network and that's what the brain looks like I and mean, this is one neuron it has a lot of inputs uh, and a certain output that is to another neuron receiving a lot of inputs from several others giving a lot of outputs to several others and so on so that whole neural network basically is is what the people think uh, the brain computational model is However, uh, what exactly the computation is done inside a neuron is, uh, is, is still ongoing. I mean, what actually this neuron computes, uh, wh what numbers and what kind of data flows inside the neuron and then they are combined in what kind of way and then that combination becomes in what kind of data and then what kind of function applies to it and then the output flows um in in what kind of form i mean there are there are um, there are uh, certain assumptions and experiments uh, uh, based on that and maybe still going on um although the complete understanding of uh, brain uh, how it works i mean is is still is still ongoing it is it is not very well founded yet um but but at, at the end of the day the the architecture looks like there is uh, there is some computational unit something uh, some inputs are coming in they these inputs are combined in some way here and then that thing is uh, supplied uh, there is some maybe a function there is some transformation applied to that combination and that is uh, supplied to several other neurons um, uh, and, and that network eventually computes some dc and some some computational I mean that that's how people think the brain works um, although they uh, although uh, nobody exactly knows what exact computations are happening inside the neuron but there are certain models that the people come up with for example the first model uh, which is called uh, perceptron neuron and perceptron they are something like interchangeably used today I mean what what people think is uh, or, or one approximation to the neuron is th that an input is coming into the input is coming along with a weight weight is a real number input is a real number another input is coming along with its weight another input is coming along with its weight another input is coming along with its weight and the neuron actually um, one approximation to the neuron or or thinking is that the neuron actually uh, take a weighted sum of all these inputs 
with this one extra input uh, that we will explain later, which is called a bias. Uh, so one more input other than the supplied inputs and its weight. All these inputs uh, with this one extra input, they are weighted according to some weights. All these weights are real numbers. And this neuron actually, or neuron or the computational unit actually does a weighted sum. So that, that is called a combination. So what combination is happening is uh, one times W0 plus X1 times W1 plus X2 times W2 plus all the inputs then Xn times Wn. This is what happens um, in, this is what people think that uh, might be an approximation or or maybe uh, a calculation that is more simple and may work very well in, in, in data. So this is what a combination is. Uh, and this combination in this particular case, if all the X1 till Xn, all these are real numbers, all the weights are real numbers, and this basically gives rise to one real number. And then some function, some transformation is applied to that um, that real number. Um, in, in this particular case, the, the transformation is simply a step function. For example, if this particular number, let's say this particular number is, is, uh, is let's say, uh, y. If y is greater than a particular threshold, let's say 0 0.7, uh, then the result will be 1. The output will be 1. If, uh, the, if this uh, combination is smaller than or equal to 0 0.7, then this output might be zero. So in this particular case, the function is really simple, called a step function. Step function is just a threshold function which is proposed as uh, in in the theory of perceptrons. Um, and 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 by the way, uh, this is not the only function. Although you can one can use step function, and the step function is the basic function that was uh, proposed in in when the perceptron was proposed in uh, 1958. But later on, people came up with uh, different functions. I mean, the functions that are more smoother than a step function due to, uh, there are certain problems in, in step function uh, during learning they appear. Uh, so people came up with the approximation the, of these step functions and several of these uh, step, several of these functions that are applied to these combinations are available. And these functions are sometimes called the activation functions. And um, so, so, Basically, um, basically, one neuron is, again, um, there are several inputs that are coming in. Each input is scaled by a weight. Then here, a weighted sum is computed. That weighted sum is uh, passed from a transformer or a function. Then that's the output of the neuron. And several neurons are connected in this way. Um, and and that, that, that is called a neural network. Uh, what do we mean by deep? I will explain that later in a later video, but, but um, combining a lot of these kind of units together uh, a makes a neural network. Um, um, so, so, so basically, uh, in, in this particular case, uh, the, the learning of the neural network basically is to find out these weights, uh, W0, W1 till Wn, find out all these weights that gives rise to the decision that is desired decision. So for example, if, uh, if our model just uh, comprises of one neuron or one perceptron in this case, then giving all the training data to, to this perceptron, we need the weights so that the, the target output in the case of classification, for example, binary classification, for example, all the outputs uh, these weights should produce they, they should produce the outputs that are desired outputs in the training data. Um, in, in, in the case of neural networks, if we have more than one neurons, at the end there will be there will be a unit that is giving us an output and there will be a whole network behind it and then an input layer in which we are going to give the input. And we, we need to learn all the weights for all the neurons. See, for one neuron, there are a lot of weights here. Uh, for, for, for this particular neuron, there will be a lot of weights for this particular neuron, depending upon how many inputs are there for this neuron. So, so the goal of neural network learning is to come up with the weights that actually gives rise to the 
accurate classification of our training data. So that's what the neural network training does, which we will see in detail how the training is done. But uh, at, at, at a big picture, in neural network model, what is that thing that we are learning? What are the parameters of the model? The parameters of the models are these weights that we want to learn. Um, and, and the neural networks are not just for classification, they are regression problem. They are for regression problems as well. Um, so uh, that's about the perceptron. In the next video, we will continue to see how to connect the perceptrons together to, to, make, a net, uh, to make a bigger neural network. Thank <laughs> you.